be a great time to call the member for Perth. Yeah, look, um, I'm happy to second this motion. I think this is an incredibly serious issue, as it's been acknowledged on both sides of the House. NBN is essentially about um, our, our future, our international competitiveness. We're constantly um, telling our community uh, that we have to be prepared uh, to be competitive, to be globally competitive. Yet, unfortunately, this government has decided that they're going to lump us with uh, uh, an infrastructure outlay uh, rollout um, that is going to be substandard. That will put us well behind where our regional competitors already are, that we are going to be left uh, with a broadband product that is nowhere uh, as, uh, as good as that that we see in Singapore, that we see in, Co in Korea, that we see in Japan and increasingly in parts of, uh, of China. Uh, we are uh, having a, basically we're getting a late 20th century uh, product rather than a 21st century product. Um, and Mr Deputy Speaker, on Saturday uh, we had a great NBN forum in, uh, in central Armidale, in the seat of uh, Canning. Uh, people there are acutely aware uh, of just how bad their internet services have always been. Uh, they were indeed on Labor's rollout plan, um, under Labor's plan, that they were scheduled uh, to get fibre to the uh, fibre to the premises uh, by June 2016. Uh, and now, under the great Malcolm Turnbull scheme, NBN Light or fraud band, um, they are actually now scheduled to get a lesser product and get that six months later. So now they have been. Uh, they now they are scheduled to get uh, fibre to the node, uh, and they are scheduled to get that six months um, six months later. But our real concern is uh, not only are we investing, are we putting a lot of money into a substandard system, but we believe that this is going to be simply not deliverable. Uh, now the minister has acknowledged. Uh, that he does not actually have any uh, awareness of the state of the copper in Kelmscott and Armidale. And as we heard over and over again uh, from, uh, from the community at this forum on, uh, on Saturday, uh, that when it rains, voice calls drop out routinely in this area. So it gives us some idea of just what the state of this copper wire is. Now, the minister, when I've questioned him in uh, in the committee in a detail, detailed consideration of uh, the budget bills, uh, claims that this is all just a question of, uh, of, uh, of pair gains and that the problem is uh, that we've made too many pair gains. Well, quite frankly, um, my advice is that there is a very, very limited number of the, of the pair gains that he is talking about in this area, and the problem is fundamentally the problem is fundamentally that of the state of the of the copper. I mean, a voice call would not drop out um, when it rains because of a, a pair gain system or a deficiency in the pair gain system. So we've got a minister here that is failing to realise and appreciate and take in hand this fundamental problem uh, that exists, that much of the area over which he wants to lay out uh, this fibre to the node really has in that last kilometre a very, very degraded network, which simply is not going to be capable of delivering even the modest late 20th century speeds uh, that he is undertaking. There was also great concern expressed in the area about the potential for, uh, for vandalism of those, uh, of those nodes in areas where there, uh, where there are social problems. And, of course, not taken into account, of course, is the much greater expense uh, that is involved in maintaining uh, this system that you need to have a fibre to the node, you need to have uh, uh, power boxes, you need to ensure, you need to change the nature of the signal as it moves from uh, um, fibre to, uh, to copper, uh, you need to keep it cool. Uh, this is going to be the most, uh, I think, at the end of the day, when we see this is going to be uh, a system that will be 
greatly discredited. And my gre very great concern for the people of Canning, for the people of, uh, of Armadale and Kelmscott, uh, who have got very, very poor internet services, that it, it is simply not going to be possible for them to deliver, um, even by December 2016. The infrastructure just simply isn't up to it. We're going to find that out, unfortunately, only at the very last moment when they dig up the pits and find out exactly I what is going on. Thank the member for Perth. 